Hi everyone, and welcome to Field Pulse 360 Lite. My name is Libby, and today we're going to take a look at how to collect and store data in Field Pulse. Let's get started. Custom fields are a great place to collect and store data in Field Pulse, especially if you're planning to segment your customers in the future. When setting up custom fields, some things to consider are how might you want to segment your customers in the future, or who may you want to target with marketing or other communications. Custom fields can be attached to almost every record in Field Pulse, including records like customers, estimates, invoices, jobs, purchase orders, maintenance agreements, you name it. We're going to take a look at a few custom fields attached to a customer record, and we'll see how they can cascade to other related records as well. There's a variety of different custom field types that can help you to ensure that only the right data is being entered. In this example, you'll see four different custom fields on this customer record. The first is appliance brand, which is a free text field, allowing me to enter any text I need to. The next is year built. If I try to enter anything besides numbers in this field, FieldPulse will not allow it. This is a great way to ensure consistency in your data and make sure that every team member is entering their information in the same way. How many stories in the home is the same situation? Again, this will require you to only enter a numerical value. When using reporting in the future, this will allow you to group your data by custom field easily because you won't have multiple entries with slight variations. The last custom field on this customer record is the date joined field. You'll notice that this allows you to select a date from the calendar and enter it onto the customer record. Once again, this will ensure consistency and make sure that data is entered in the way that you want on each and every customer record. While we're just taking a look at the customer record, remember that custom fields like this and other custom fields can be created and attached to almost every record in Field Pulse. Another great thing about using custom fields is you can set them up to be cascading. This means the data that you enter on a specific record can cascade to other related records. This will save you time as you won't have to navigate back to an original record to view data or re-enter it on the new record, and it also makes sure that important details are passed along to your team. In this example, you'll see that I've set three of my fields to cascade from the customer record to the job record. This provides important information for my team that they can access when scheduling and completing a job for this customer. Another great place to collect and store data in Field Pulse is in the Notes field. There's a variety of different Notes fields in Field Pulse, so let's walk through what each of them does and who can see them. On the customer record, you'll notice a notes section, which primarily is used for things like details about the customer's personality or your interactions with them in the past. To give your team details on access instructions for their property or things that pertain to each job, you'll want to enter them in job notes. These notes are key because they'll be auto-populated onto every job record that's created in relation to this customer. Like custom fields, using the job notes section on a customer record will cascade the data onto related job records. This will save you time and make sure that important details reach your team members as they're traveling on site. When creating a job for this customer, you'll notice that the notes field is auto-populated with the job notes from this customer record. While I can always make changes, this gives me a great foundation to give my team details on what they need to do. When your team is on site, they'll want to use the field notes section. This allows them to document anything that's gone on on site and leave notes so that everyone who has access to the record can view them. The last notes fields that we'll touch on today are the estimate and invoice notes. On an estimate or an invoice, you can have notes that are visible to the customer as well as internal notes. Notes that are visible to your customer will appear on the estimate or invoice for their viewing. Internal notes, of course, will be just for your team. In either of these notes sections, you can choose to insert job notes, which typically include those access instructions, or field notes, which are documentation from your service agents in the field. If you'd like your customer to view either of those details, Press the insert button to populate those field notes. No copy and paste needed. Likewise, you can also insert them into the internal notes section for your team to view internally. Either way, the notes section is a great way to collect and store data, and Field Pulse has built it in such a way that your data can be easily moved between records, saving you time and making sure that you have all the details you need to be successful. The last and newest way to collect and store data in Field Pulse is our custom forms. 
Custom forms can be created and stand as independent records or be attached to existing records and field pulse. Let's take a look at a custom form that could be used on a maintenance agreement visit. We'll navigate to the related job and select forms, then press create new. From here, you'll want to select one of your custom form templates to use. Once you've attached it, you can complete it right away or save it to be completed later on. You can even send the form out to your customer to be completed, signed, and returned to you. Once your team members are out on site, they'll be able to complete this form and send it to you or the customer after its completion. At the beginning of the form, you'll notice that two fields are already completed, the customer name and the date and time. These have been set up to be auto-populated to ensure accuracy and speed up the process. Next, your team members will be prompted to complete readings of the pressure gauges and upload images. As a fail-safe measure, you can even mark these fields as being required. That means your team member won't be able to submit the form without their completion. Lastly, you can add things like a typed name box and a signature field to have your team members verify that the information they've entered is accurate. Once all of this is completed, it'll be stored on that job record or whatever record you've completed it on going forward. You can also send it out to your customers easily, providing them access to the data that you've collected as well as storing it internally for your team. A great way to use custom forms is also to use them to report and document incidents that have happened. In this example, I've created an incident report and attached it to a job. When something goes wrong, I want my team to write it down and take photos so I have as much information as possible. Instead of texting those to me or throwing them on the job record, having them neatly organized in a custom form will make my life in the office much easier. On this record, you'll see that some information is auto-populated like the customer's name and the address of the incident. This is pulled from the customer and job record, making it quicker for you to complete these records. Next, you'll be prompted to describe the incident and upload photos. You'll notice that the uploading images section is required, ensuring that your team does complete it before saving the form. Lastly, Field Pulse's custom forms can employ conditional logic, which means certain fields will be prompted to appear after selections are made. In this example, if I check the box to say, yes, this property was damaged, the custom form will now prompt me to upload images of the damage. Of course, if I mark that the property was not damaged, I won't be prompted to upload any photos. This makes sure your team only sees the fields that they need to see and data is collected whenever it's applicable. Thanks for joining me today to learn more about collecting and storing data in Field Pulse. If you're a Field Pulse customer and you'd like to learn more about this process, watch the Field Pulse 360 full videos in the Help Center. If you're new to Field Pulse and you'd like to join us, book a demo online today. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.